Marketing is all about surprises. Testing, evaluating, looking at the metrics and seeing what is working, what isn't. Well, even we learn from that occasionally because we look at our metrics, we eat our own dog food. And today I'm going to disclose to you some things we've learned recently, as well as talk to you about a little bit more about gamification. Oh, well, my name is Bill Arnold. I'm president of Prevail Marketing. And every single day, every single day, we give you a video on how to grow your business through better sales and marketing. Now, the programs we give you are not things we pull out of the sky that we think, oh, this sounds like a wonderful idea. Nah, that's not how it works. These are programs that we've implemented, we've tried, we've perfected, we've done the A-B testing, we've done the evaluation, and we've gotten success for our clients. Now, success for our clients means that, that they believe we got success, not just in our minds, that they said, yeah, that really worked. And so, what we try to do is give you a variety of techniques and strategies. And if you need more, you can always go back to prevailmarketing.com and get that information, get that understanding, get that education. And we try to come up with things that maybe not everyone's talking about. I mean, we're not doing this, obviously, for the likes and follows because we're not getting a whole lot of likes and follows. So that's not why we're doing this. We're doing this because we generally want to help educate. And so we started this last week doing a series on gamification. And today's Today's video is supposed to be about gamification too, and it will be a little bit at the end. <coughs> but what we found is that it's not resonating with you guys. Gamification is not something that seems to hit home. We looked at the numbers, and the least performing videos, the least performing traffic back to our site, has been the blogs we've written about gamification. Surprised us. We actually thought they were very, we know they're very powerful tools. We're just surprised that it hasn't been picked up, and maybe it's because you feel you can't do it. That's kind of the only thing I can figure out. Maybe you think that's just beyond my capabilities. I really don't know how to do that. And and so we're going to spend, you know, <laughs> yes, I, I do read the look at the metrics. I do read the tea leaves, but sometimes I'm stubborn as hell. And so today I'm going to continue with gamification because I do believe you need to know about it. I do believe you need to understand that it can be done by you. It doesn't have to be done for the house bots of the world and the sales forces of the world and the, and the um, you know, apples of the world. It can be done by you, even if you're a early stage startup, okay? And it doesn't have to be big, doesn't mean huge. It can be like 10 people, it can be 15 people. It doesn't have to be a huge, huge concentration or demand in your campaigns. So today, I'm going to dig the hole deeper, if you will. I'm going to dig down and, and share with you guys something you probably don't care about. But, you know, for those that do, the few that really resonates with, I'm true to my word. I said I'd cover these things, and so... We're going to do that. Today, we're going to talk about how you set up a gamification program and, to, and what metrics you should track. And tomorrow, we're going to give you three examples, <coughs> powerful examples that worked. And so you can see the picture and the performance. And after that, we'll go back to the more mundane stuff, the SEOs and, uh, you know, UX, UI, things like that that we talk about normally. But I do want to just be honest with you guys. I'm surprised. I really am. So let's get right to it. Right to it. Right. I spent 10 minutes talking about something else. All right. Let's get to it. All right, if you want to set it up, there's basically a number of steps. You have to figure out what you want to do, okay? You want it for client loyalty, you want to generate sales, you want to motivate your uh, uh, brand advocates to take action. Those are typically the kind of programs you have. Figure out what you want to do. Identify who you're targeting. I mean, who you're talking about two groups of. <clears throat> you're talking about the people you want to bring on to the gamification panel to participate. And you want to talk about who they're going to influence or what they want them to do. So you need to understand all that, okay? You understand, like, how you're going to run the game. If you haven't run a game before, don't try to do it on your own. This is one area you're probably going to need to buy a game, or rent, rent, not buy. You're going to lease a gamification platform, get a license for one of them. I mentioned the previous ones you should to do with. They're going to set up the design interface. They're going to do all those things that you need to do. So it's basically... Figure out, you know, what the points you want to, how many points for every activity, and set up the strategy. You don't need to create, and shouldn't create, uh, a brand new program for yourself. It doesn't make sense. Then you're going to, you know, set up the program, set up the strategy. You know, what do I want them to do? What am I going to award points to do? How am I going to go from that easy, basic steps where it's going to be just little actions to where they're going to actually generate results? <coughs> then you promote it. You optimize and you analyze Make sure you have meaningful rewards. It fails on its face, I promise you, if you give them nothing. People will do a lot for very little, but there's got to be a value to them. So if it's your swag as value, great. If it doesn't, don't try to push them with swag. Give them gift cards. Yes, it may cost you $25, $50. If you have a big conference in the year or an industry conference in the year, get the prize being an industry conference. I'm going to show you an example tomorrow. We did that for a client for Comic-Con. <laughs> Went them from being a B player to the A player. Literally, okay, we're going to talk about that. And then you foster competition, friendly competition. <coughs> so 
Those are basically, you can read about it on the blog if you want. I'm not going to go in detail because I just want to let you know what is possible. Again, don't do it alone. If you haven't done something, you don't need to hire an agency. Oh my God, he's running agencies and I don't need to hire him? No, but you need to hire a fractional CMO if you haven't done it before. We do that too. You need to hire them because they will get you through the first three months like that, set it up for you. So all you got to do is just carry it forward. Use several, there's several different examples. There's the NextB, there's Bunchball, there's Influent. These are examples of platforms you've been looking at, okay? If you haven't done it before, these are three that I highly recommend. We have used each of these. We've got great results. Again, uh, you know, realize there's going to be regional, ethical, ethnic, and religious differences. And keep that in mind. If you're going to have a holiday contest, don't just include Christmas. Include Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Be inclusive. It's very important. You... Use user-generated content as much as possible. Don't try to carry everything yourself. Don't try to have to create all the content. user generated content works. Incorporate storytelling in what you do. Use nostalgia. If you go back to the to the uh, days gone by where, you know, it might be where they remember something from their childhood, sometimes that can really be impactful. And make it fun after all it's a game. Make it fun. If it's not fun, no one's going to do this. Okay, if you're going to track KPIs, we're going to name a few you need to track. As you know, we track 400 KPIs for every single client every single month. We never guess. You shouldn't guess about your gamification, whether it's working. You need to know what's working, what isn't working. So engagement rate and activities. Figure out, what, figure out what activities are actually generating results. And then, you know, make sure you optimize those. The ones that are not working particularly well, either swap them out or optimize them. Adoption rate of participants. You are going to find that 20% of everybody runs the program. But if you have people who are not participating, either figure out a way to motivate them or eliminate them because nothing kills a gamification program worse if you have a lot of people just sitting on the sideline doing nothing. It's sort of like a virus. It spreads. You gotta, you've got to keep people active and inspired. So if there are people who just can't get motivated, politely say, look, you know, we, we basically need people who want to be brand advocates, who want to participate, who feel value in this. So, you know, if unless you can do this, we need to, we need to move on and still want you, still need you, but this program is just not for you. Track scoring and rankings. That's important. This is a game. It's a competition. You want people to feel that. But don't list the top 10. If there's a big chasm between them and everybody else, it would be disheartening. So show the people five above each individual and five below. So everyone feels they're in competition with somebody, and, they, and they'll target each other. They'll, 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 I don't want to say fight, but they have a friendly confrontation to try to be number one in their group. Look at the conversion rates. Again, is, it, is the ultimate thing doing what you need to do? <clears throat> if you're setting for loyalty, is the loyalty increasing? If you're setting up for sales, is the sales increasing? If it's setting, is it, if it, if it's setting up for, for brand advocates to take action, is that doing it? So you need to look at those conversion rates, the end game that what you want to think. Not the activity, but the end game. If I want more sales, am I getting more sales? And of course, at the end of the day, <clears throat> you have to look at the return on investment. Why? <laughs> because if... There's, you know, there's a lot of marketing programs that look like they're getting great results, but they're costing the company as much as they're creating. It can't be that way. You have to have an ROI. So, but it takes a while to generate. So look at a full six months before you decide to pull a plug or that's not worth your while. Guys, I went through this in a very, very quick way because, honestly, I'm just trying to honor the fact that, you know, maybe, you, maybe some like it and they need to hear it. If you want more, and I went through it fast, I apologize. Give me a call. I will walk you through line by line, item by item. I'm not going to charge you for that. I'm just going to give you the education. And then we can, you can go from there. Because I do want to give value to people who find gamification to be a value. So thank you very much. Have a good night.